Launch commit criteria are the criteria which must be met in order for the countdown and launch of a space shuttle or other launch vehicle to continue. These criteria relate to safety issues and the general success of the launch, as opposed to supplemental data. Atlas V Launch commit criteria for Atlas V launches are similar to those used for the Atlas V launch of the Mars Science Laboratory some can be overridden if additional requirements are met. Wind at the launch pad exceeds 61 km per hour, 38 miles per hour, 33 kn. Ceiling less than 1,800 meters, 6,000 feet, or visibility less than 6.4 km, 4 miles. Upper level conditions containing wind shear that could lead to control problems for the launch vehicle. Cloud layer greater than 1,400 meters, 4,500 feet thick that extends into freezing temperatures. Cumulus clouds with tops that extend into freezing temperatures within 5 to 10 miles 8.0 to 16.1 kilometers 19 kilometers 10 nmi of the edge of a thunderstorm that is producing lightning for 30 minutes after the last lightning is observed Field mill instrument readings within 9.3 kilometers 5 nmi of the launch pad or the flight path exceed plus or minus 1500 volts per meter for 15 minutes after they occur Thunderstorm anvil is within 19 km 10 nmi of the flight path. Thunderstorm debris cloud is within 5.6 km 3 nmi or fly through a debris cloud for 3 hours. Do not launch through disturbed weather that has clouds that extend into freezing temperatures and contain moderate or greater precipitation, or launch within 9. 3 km 5 nmi of disturbed weather adjacent to the flight path. Do not launch through cumulus clouds formed as the result of or directly attached to a smoke plume. Topic. Falcon 9 NASA has identified the Falcon 9 vehicle cannot be launched under the following conditions. Some can be overridden if additional requirements are met. Sustained wind at the 162 feet 49 meters level of the launch pad in excess of 30 knots 56 kilometers per hour, 35 miles per hour. Upper level conditions containing wind shear that could lead to control problems for the launch vehicle. Launch through a cloud layer greater than 4,500 feet 1,400 meters thick that extends into freezing temperatures. Launch within 19 km 10 nmi of cumulus clouds with tops that extend into freezing temperatures. Within 19 km 10 nmi of the edge of a thunderstorm that is producing lightning within 30 minutes after the last lightning is observed. Within 19 km 10 nmi of an attached thunderstorm anvil cloud. Within 9.3 km 5 nmi of disturbed weather clouds that extend into freezing temperatures and contain moderate or greater precipitation. Within 5.6 km 3 nmi of a thunderstorm debris cloud. Through cumulus clouds formed as the result of or directly attached to a smoke plume, the following should delay launch. Delay launch for 15 minutes if field mill instrument readings within 9.3 km 5 nmi of the launch pad exceed plus or minus 1,500 volts per meter, or plus or minus 1,000 volts per meter. Delay launch for 30 minutes after lightning is observed within 10 nautical miles 19 km, 12 miles of the launch pad or the flight path. Topic. Space Shuttle Topic. Weather The weather conditions NASA required during countdown and launch were specified for prior to loading external tank propellant and after loading propellant has begun. Weather forecasts were provided by the 45th Weather Squadron at nearby Patrick Air Force Base with concerns such as thunderstorms, winds, low cloud ceilings, or anvil clouds noted in the report. Topic. Prior to loading propellant 
Tanking was not to begin if the 24-hour average temperature had been below 41 degrees Fahrenheit 5 degrees Celsius, the wind was observed or forecast to exceed 42 knots 78 km per hour, 48 miles per hour for the next three-hour period, or there was a forecast to be greater than a 20% chance of lightning within five nautical miles of the launch pad during the first hour of tanking. Topic. After propellant loading was underway After tanking began, the countdown must not be continued, nor the shuttle launched, if any of the following weather criteria were exceeded. Temperature Once propellant loading had begun, the countdown was to be stopped if the temperature remained above 99 degrees Fahrenheit 37 degrees Celsius for more than 30 consecutive minutes. The minimum temperature the countdown may proceed at was determined by a table of temperatures determined by wind speed and relative humidity ranging from 36 degrees Fahrenheit 2 degrees Celsius high humidity, high winds to 48 degrees Fahrenheit 9 degrees Celsius low humidity, low winds. In no case was the space shuttle to be launched if the temperature was 35 degrees Fahrenheit 2 degrees Celsius degrees or colder. Wind for launch The wind constraints at the launch pad varied slightly for each mission. The peak wind speed allowable was 34 knots 63 km per hour, 39 miles per hour. However, when the wind direction was between 100 degrees and 260 degrees, the peak speed varies and may be as low as 20 knots 37 km per hour, 23 miles per hour. Precipitation only was allowed to exist at the launch pad or within the flight path. 